Welcome to the Crossmatch Technologies Seek Introduction Training Video. This training video is an introduction to the Seek device's components. The Secure Electronic Enrollment Kit, known as Seek, is a Crossmatch Technologies man portable multimodal identification and enrollment platform that provides multiple methods to capture the personal and biometric information about a person. Rugged construction, small size, and light weight make the SEEK ideal to carry and use in the field. In this training video, you will learn how to describe the SEEK device, understand the SEEK hardware components and features, start the SEEK device, log on to the MOBS application within the SEEK device. The top of the SEEK device has components that you will need to be familiar with, such as the touch screen, which can be used by the touch of a finger or the attached stylus. The GPS antenna allows the SEEK to record the location of a subject during the enrollment process. The power button turns the device on and off. The fingertip glide control is used to move the cursor. The left and right mouse buttons are used with the fingertip glide control. The QWERTY keyboard contains upper and lower case letters, numbers, symbols, and special key combinations, which will be discussed later in this video. This is the platen cover, used to protect the glass platen from the elements when not in use. Keep the plate and cover closed as shown, except when capturing fingerprints. The glass fingerprint plate is where you capture fingerprints. There is a silicone membrane on the plate which enhances the quality of the captured images. The attached stylus in the stylus dock with the cord is used for the touch screen. When the stylus is not in use, it can be stored within the Seek device's stylus holder. Let's take a look at the left side of the Seek device as shown. The left side of the Seek device has five components that you will need to be familiar with. The Seek device comes with two USB 2.0 connectors, which allow the Seek to act as a host computer for USB devices such as an external keyboard, mouse, an FBI certified Guardian R2 USB 10 print scanner, document scanner, or passport reader. The attached USB connector cover protects the USB 2.0 connectors from the elements. The left side battery is one of two chargeable batteries within the Seek device. The left side hand strap is used to hold the Seek device. The power connector cover protects the connector when it is not in use and is attached to the hand strap. Let's take a look at the right side of the Seek device as shown. The right side of the Seek device has six components that you will need to be familiar with. The Seek device is equipped with an Ethernet connector, which you can use to connect the Seek to a local area network. The attached Ethernet connector cover protects the Ethernet connector from the elements when not in use. The right side battery is one of two chargeable batteries within the Seek device. The lock button is used to unlock the Seek device so the user can open and close the iris camera. Press the lock button to open and close the Seek's iris scanner. The stylus snaps into the stylus dock and is attached to the seat with a cord. The right side hand strap is used to hold the seat device. Let's take a look at the bottom view of the seat device as shown. The bottom of the seat device has three components that you will need to be familiar with. The seat has a built-in camera which allows a user to capture photographs such as a subject's mugshot, scars, or tattoos. 
The Seek also has an LED flash, which provides added illumination when capturing a subject's photo. The Seek senses when more light is required and provides the correct amount of light for the photograph. The microphone is used to record a subject's voice. Let's take a look at the front of the Seek device. The front of the Seek device has four components that you will need to be familiar with. The fingerprint platen cover, as shown here in the closed position, protects the glass platen and silicone membrane from possible damage from the elements when not in use. For best practice, keep the cover closed until you are ready to capture fingerprints. The fingerprint platen cover latch is used to lock the cover into the closed position. The power connector is used to connect the external AC power supply, which charges the two batteries within the device. The AC power supply is included with the Seek device. The power connector cover protects the connector from the elements when not in use. Let's take a look at the Seek's QWERTY keyboard and how to use it. Let's first take a look at the left and right battery charging LED indicators. The left and right battery charge indicators have four LEDs. When the battery contains a full charge, all the indicator LEDs illuminate. The indicator LEDs flash when the battery is in charge mode. When the Seek is not connected to the source of external power, press and release the function key to see the charge level in the batteries. When the Seek is connected to an external power source, the battery charge LED indicators are illuminated to show the charge level. Now let's take a look at the CAPS light, which illuminates in two colors. The CAPS light is green when you press the CAPS shift key for a single letter. The CAPS light is yellow when you press the CAPS shift key and the function key simultaneously to enter only uppercase letters. The hard drive illuminates when the program uses the disk drive. The ambient light sensor turns on the backlight for the keyboard in conditions of low light. The power status light is illuminated when the Seek device is powered on. The function light is on when the function key is pressed or when the function mode is locked. For key groups, function keys, and shift key operation, please reference your Seek field reference manual. Let's take a look at the back of the Seek device as shown in the opened position. The back of the Seek device, when opened, has four components that you will need to be familiar with. The forehead rest, which guides the subject's face to the correct position to capture the iris images. The iris camera lenses, which are used to capture the iris images. The iris camera LEDs are used to illuminate the eyes to capture the iris images. The nose rest helps place the subject's face in the correct position to capture the iris images. Please reference your Seek Field Reference Manual for capturing a subject's iris. Starting the Seek device using the default username and password shortcut. Press the power button until the power light illuminates. A cross-match window indicates that the device has started. The hard drive flashes to indicate the computer's activity. The process from this point until the Windows login screen appears can take up to 90 seconds. The Windows XP password window will appear with the username as crossmatch. Enter the default password live scan, then press the return key. You can also log on using the default password logon screen by pressing the control and comma keys simultaneously on the Seek's external keyboard as shown. The program inserts the default password live scan and continues to the Windows desktop. The Seek desktop window will appear with the mobs and other program icons.
To open the MOBS application, just tap the MOBS icon once with the Seek stylus. The MOBS application will start and display the MOBS home screen. This concludes the Seek introduction training video. For additional training offerings, visit www.crossmatch.com forward slash training dot html or you may call area code 561-622-1650 and ask for training. We offer product training on site at the customer's location at our training center in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida or via web.